Hello and welcome to American High School, a school that provides a quality and affordable online education. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use and navigate through your courses. To access your courses, you first need to log into the LMS using the username and password provided to you. After logging in, you'll be brought to your student dashboard. Your student dashboard contains all the courses assigned to you. To access a course, click on the Launch Course icon. Each course contains all the reading, materials, and assessments needed to complete the course. To navigate through the course, use the course menu to your left. Each course will automatically open to its course summary. The course summary will give you general course information. Next is the teacher section. This section will show you your teacher's information and picture. Next is the standards section. This section shows you all the state standards each course is aligned to. State standards are a set of learning skills that students should achieve. They set the benchmarks and guidelines for what each student should learn. Next is the resources section. This section gives students helpful tools they might need while taking their course. It will contain useful downloads, a free text-to-speech tool, and helpful website references. The following three features is what you will use most in each of your courses. Lessons, assessments, and interactive tools. To view the content in each of these sections, click on the plus sign to expand. The lesson section will allow you to view the units and lessons for each course. This is a section that will contain your online textbooks, interactive games and activities, and videos. Your lessons are made up of a series of units similar to those in a textbook. These units are further broken down into lessons. Each lesson can consist of a single page of study within the course or multiple pages of study. To further expand a lesson, click on the plus sign. This will show you all the pages for that lesson. To navigate through a lesson, you can use the previous page, next page icons, or you can click on the pages themselves. When you're ready to start your class, make sure you read the Welcome to Class page. This will provide you with the teacher's expectations of you in the course. This information can be very helpful to you. We encourage that you read it thoroughly. Each lesson will provide you instructions for you to read either an ebook or complete learning activities such as these. The lesson may also instruct you to complete journal entries. It is very important to thoroughly read and follow the instructions on each page of your lesson. Everything you're instructed to do will later be reflected on an upcoming assessment. To access your ebook, locate the course materials box on your page and click on the ebook link. Under the ebook link, you'll find the pages you must read. Make sure to use all the features available to you in your ebook. To flip the pages, use the arrows or type in the page yourself. Some ebooks will also have other features like single page and double page views, a zoom in and zoom out feature, and some might also include a read out loud feature. 
From Beowulf, translated by Burton Rathen. Grendel attacks the Danes. Your lesson will also contain different learning activities. You may find games, videos, short films, and other helpful materials. Make sure to complete them when they're available on your page. American High School courses are self-paced. Each lesson will also give you an estimated time frame or recommended pacing guide to complete each page. You're more than welcome to increase or decrease that time frame to your convenience. Each lesson will have a practice and an application. This can be found under the assessment section of your course menu. Practices are multiple choice tests or quizzes that are graded automatically. And applications, also known as apply, are written assessments that are graded by your teacher. At the end of each unit, you will then have to complete a unit project that will demonstrate your learning of all the unit's material. As a student, you are only allowed to view and do one assessment at a time and in the order that they appear. After you have read your lesson and completed all your learning activities and journal entries as instructed, you will then be ready to do your practice assessment for that lesson. You will receive one question at a time. You are to read your question, select your answer, and hit the next question icon to move forward. If you need to make corrections to a previous question, select the previous question icon. Make your change, and then select the next question icon to continue. When you have completed your quiz, select the Submit Quiz button. You will be graded automatically for your practices. Your grade will appear in front of you. After you have completed your practice with a 70% or above, you can then move forward and complete the Apply assessment for that lesson. Please make sure to review all the instructions before completing your apply. Please feel free to review your lesson once again if you need to. Before completing your apply, you have two options. You have a text box where you can type in your answers. Or you can use an external program like Microsoft Word or Pages to complete your assignment. Make sure you save your document as a .pdf or a .doc before submitting. To submit your document to the teacher, use this feature to upload your file. It would also be very helpful for the teacher if you include all questions and answers in the document that you are submitting. When you're ready to submit, select the submit icon. You will then receive verification that your reply has been submitted with the status of P for pending. After you have submitted the apply, you can then move forward to your next lesson. If you receive a grade of 69% or below on a practice or an apply, you will not be allowed to move forward. You will be asked to redo the assessment by requesting an improvement. To learn how to request an improvement, please see the video Improvement Requests. Before completing an improvement, your teacher might ask you to do some extra learning activities to help you understand the material. One helpful learning activity can be found in each of your lessons, labeled Remediation. It is a red icon at the top of your page.
Remediation consists of non-graded activities that help you revisit the lesson and reinforce the material being taught. If this is something you're instructed to do, read the instructions very carefully and follow any external links provided. Another helpful feature found in your lessons is acceleration. It's the green icon at the top of your page. The acceleration feature is for students that need a little bit more of a challenge and tend to move through the lesson quicker than most students while getting passing grades. Your teacher will ask you to complete the acceleration if you complete the lesson in less time than the pacing guide recommends. The last section on your course menu is the interactive tools. This section contains your journal and discussion board. You are to complete a journal post or discussion when indicated in your lesson. You may also use your journal to record your notes for each lesson as well. To record a journal, select the journal link. And select new journal post. Title your journal. and use the description box to type in your journal. When you're done, select the Submit button. All your journal entries will be saved. Journals are shared only between you and your teacher. To post a new discussion, select New Forum Topic and follow the same procedures you would in a journal. When completed, select the Submit button. Discussions are shared with the teacher and fellow classmates. These are public posts. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to come back and watch this video at any time. If you have any questions, please contact your student counselor.